Yo, what is happening, folks? It's Jimmy G in the place to be, bringing you a special one of those drop in episodes of The Good, The Bad, The Awesome, where I unbox and give you my first reaction to all things pop culture, mainly Star Wars, Transformers, McFarlane figures, anime, sprinkled in with a bunch of other stuff. So if you like that stuff or other stuff, go ahead, hit that like and subscribe. Get notified when we have new videos as we try to have those Monday, Wednesday, Friday sprinkled in around whenever I can get some other ones out too. But today we're going to go to the McFarlane verse and we're going to look at a Mr. John Henry, one of my favorite superheroes or side minor superheroes, one that I'm really uh, excited about, and that is Steel. So let's go back to my lab and let's take a look. As you hear my dog clickety clacking it around, let's take a look at Steel. And here he is, folks, John Henry Irons, a.k.a. Steel. Boo, Steel. I am not a good you Googleizer. Uh, <laughs> I don't know why I think a Zoolander when I think the word steel. Steel. Uh, what is this, a school for ants? Anyway, so, uh, but here it is. If you don't know much about him, uh, he basically built a suit of iron and suit of steel to basically, uh, that matches the powers that Superman had and really came into prominence around the, uh, when Superman died in the reign of Superman story. And so he was one of those that was hoping to fill Superman's shoes. However, when Superman came Came back to life uh, steel ended up becoming one of his allies and so really really cool I love the fact he is named after American folklore of John Henry uh, so that's really really cool uh, I was I've been looking forward to this figure it's been delayed 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 from Amazon but now I finally got it and my dog is barking He's so as I was saying before my dog rudely interrupted me, now I finally got it uh, and I'm excited to have it. So here's the front of it, the side, the back. Love the artwork of John Henry right there. Uh, and uh, just a really, really interesting character and I'm, I'm excited to have this one. So I'm excited to open it up. Let me get some stuff out of the way. This is how you know you order too much from TF Safari uh, right here. <laughs> All these faction stickers, I may have to give some of those away or something. But let's get this out of of the package. As I've told you, these McFarlane figures are a little tough to stand up, but I got everything out of the package. And first we have, of course, the obligatory stand that helps you stand these things up. Uh, the beautiful card that has the same artwork on the back. Love the cards that they have basically a uh, like a bio. Uh, so during one fateful day at a construction site, Superman saved former engineer John Henry Iron's life. So, uh, but yeah, very, very cool. We got his weapon, which one of the things I don't like is it bends very easily. So it's a little it's, steel needs the blue steel needs the blue pill to make this a little bit better. And then, of course, we have the action figure itself. And so let me see if I can get him to stand. I'll put him on his little let me put him on his little uh, stand here. Stand. There we go. And then it goes, you know what? I don't want to stand. I'm John Henry. I don't want to stand for anyone. Come on. Yeah, it's being stupid, folks. Very, very stupid. I think part of the stupidity of it is look at his feet. They're curved. <laughs> that doesn't help out at all. The little curved foot there, you know, that doesn't help with anything uh, to keep him from standing kind of straight. Uh, but you know what? We'll, we'll do our best. There we go. That's my best right now is just to hold him where he's at. But from a height standpoint, looking at almost eight inches, about seven and three quarters inches there uh, on the action figure. So let's bring him in a little closer for a closer look. Pop the camera up. And there he is. And let's bring some more illumination. There we are. And so 
Love the detail. Love the little bit of blue specks in there too as well. I know there's a platinum edition one. And I think that's just monochrome. Uh, this is very cool. Looks very homemade, handmade. Uh, but the face, just, just that real intimidating look you're looking at me it's like do you smell what the steel is cooking uh it's like what's your name it doesn't matter what your name is but anyway uh there he is uh just just taking a look at that body i i dig the overall aesthetic of it uh very very nice the red cape really really does pop on him i wish it was a cloth cape but that's okay uh i'll take what i can get there is uh man buns of steel right there right there is the buns of steel uh and then of course his utility belt that he has all his stuff on to as well and so farland figures do have 22 points of articulation and part of it is the head can on a ball joint the arm this kind of gets in the way his little his his stuff to kind of get it all the way up you can't really get it all the way up but you do have the spin and the uh the the spin right here uh you also have you can see 90 degree bend uh doesn't go more than 90 because of this right here uh and then you have the movement on the ball joint of his uh his hands there and then from a waist standpoint can't really do the jean-claude underwear kind of gets in the way but you can kind of see the joint right there uh you can uh pop it up a little bit there you gotta kind of manipulate it uh you do get more than a 90 degree on him from a bend on his knee uh, and then uh you do have the twist and then this you have the ankle that pops up as well as a lot of movement here for the ankle and it's all like on a ratcheted joint which kind of uh it's both good and bad sometimes just trying to get things standing straight uh is a booger bear uh so uh the, the his feet are very very loose and that kind of contributes a little bit to the toughness of getting him to stand uh but that is some of the articulation on him and again some of the things i really like i do like the overall aesthetic of them i don't like this is this this figure is a little bit loose and that you don't get any extra hands yeah you know with most mcfarland toys you get extra hands and then the 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 hammer which you can take a closer look at that it it's wibbly wobbly hello mcfly anyway it's very very wibbly wobbly uh so you can't uh so you have to kind of keep it straight and bent so uh w so that it doesn't bend um i wish this was more of a harder rigid plastic uh but yeah now you can wish in one hand and poop in the other and see which one fills up faster uh but let me get some other figures and let's compare steel with some of those other figures that i've got and you can see for scale here is everything that scales with steel well it doesn't necessarily scale with steel but everything that i have that i just want to show you i've got a couple mcfarland figures here we got the superman versus doomsday mcfarland so i, I thought that was only appropriate since uh steel kind of takes superman's place when uh when doomsday kills him uh, spoilers if you don't know doomsday kills superman uh, uh holy cow if you don't know that that's been that that's been a while uh of course superman's back nobody ever stays dead dead in the dc or marvel universe really do they do they really stay dead you know they always find another one in, at in earth 3-5 or whatever or hey i was hibernating or this is my new evolution or something whatever it may be there's nightwing right there from nightfall five inch mcfarland deku uh we also have a 3.75 inch re retro grand inquisitor those things are funky looking uh sh figure arts right there satoru gojo and then we have a six inch right there of Cobb van and then back in the back good old optimus prime from the animated series just standing there looking all primey for all of us to look at but that's kind of how steel scales steel is a pretty tall dude so uh, i would expect him to stand uh, head and shoulders over everybody else but that is it so let's get back together and let's talk through some of my final thoughts on blue steel let's do it and so my final thoughts on blue steel not just regular steel uh sorry i didn't have my light on earlier when i filmed my intro but hey you know what things happen but let's bring steel in this is probably the pose that i will keep him in there he is I like him with just this hammer standing all stoic with his hand kind of doing like this i don't know why i like it like that but i think it looks cool uh so this uh i 
I have a love-hate with this figure right now. Uh, I love the looks of it. I love the aesthetics of it. The hate I have of it is the feet. The feet are curved, and so it's hard to keep them standing steady. Uh, doesn't have quite the articulation like the others do. I mean, he still has 22 points of articulation, but uh, things get in the way. And then of course the feet, just things just aren't as articulated. And, and the, these, the bottom part right here, the feet are very loosey goosey. Uh, so those are my major qualms. And then of course the, uh, the uh, limp handle, uh, which I mean, at my age, everyone has one of those. Uh, but uh, this right here, that's him. That is good old steel. So on a scale of good, bad, awesome, I would give him just a good, I mean, from an aesthetic standpoint, if I wasn't wanting to play with him or anything like that and leave him staying where he is, I love how he looks. But as far as an action figure, he is lacking in several areas, uh, as, especially when it comes to the articulation point and then the cheap handle here uh, on this. The feet, I mean, if they would have just fixed the curved feet, that would have that would have just done it for me. Uh, but anyway, steel, have a have a st have a stand, stand right there. But still, one of my favorite superheroes one of the minor superhero characters that uh, most people don't like but uh well not not don't like but don't you know whenever you say hey name me your favorite superhero steel doesn't come up for most people i think i think it's because shack i think because when shack played steel it kind of just ruined it for a lot of people right uh but uh but I, I i do dig that this figure i'm glad we got a figure of him and he will stay in my wall of mcfarland so uh with that that's all i gotta say about it should you buy it i mean it was twenty two dollars uh twenty dollars you can probably find them on sale uh up to you if you're a big fan of that then yes go for it but if you're looking for a very a good posable action figure i might pass on this one uh so uh but um uh, but yeah good old steel blue steel anyway uh tune in next time when we do talk about something else good bad or awesome in the meantime y'all remember stay young have fun and be awesome we'll talk to you later bye bye now